Hello everyone, in this video I'll be reviewing a new video capture card from Kohaimi. This is the HCA 25P 4K video capture card. Kohaimi sent me this video capture card for review, but the opinions you're gonna see in this video are my own and this video wasn't reviewed by anyone before launching it. I'm gonna talk in this video first about the form factor of the video capture card then about the inputs and the connections and the specifications and then i'm gonna be performing a video capture with this card and then i'm gonna be comparing it to the elgato cam link 4k that i have so for you to be able to compare it to something similar the introduction section of this video is now captured with the elgato cam link 4k with my canon powershot g7x because i didn't yet connect the kohaimi video capture card as you see it's still on the table not connected but all the rest of this video will be recorded with the Kohaimi at 4K resolution using the same material, meaning my Canon PowerShot G7X and with my OBS Studio. So let's switch now to the Kohaimi. So now I switch to the Kohaimi HCA 25P video capture card. Let me show you a little bit how it is connected. So this is it here. Of course, the footage now is from Logitech C920, just to show you the video card, how it is connected. So here you have the HDMI input, and this is HDMI output in case you need a pass-through. So if you connect your gaming console here and you want to see on your monitor, you just connect your monitor to the HDMI output here. And from the other side here, you have USB-C connection, and you have a headphones jack and you have a microphone input also this video capture card has very good specifications as an input it can take an input up to 4k 60 hertz and as output like the pass through output it can go up to 4k 60 hertz and it can record videos in 4k 30 hertz and what is good about it is that it also can record video at 1080p at 120 hertz which is really very good it also has three recording formats rgb yuy2 and nv12 at 4k it can only record in nv12 but if you put it at full hd you can record in either of the formats the lag of this video capture card is not very high so i measured it myself at around 150 milliseconds at 4k and this is the offset that I've put. And this is the same offset that I put also for my cam link 4K. So in this area, it is really very good. One thing I wanted also to mention is that this Kohaimi video capture card needs a USB 3.0 or faster connection for it to work. As soon as you connect it to your PC, the driver is installed automatically because it is plug and play. So let me show you in OBS how it appears. So this is OBS and you see here I created the Kohaimi entry. If I go to properties, you see here under device, you have the 4K USB 3.0 Capture Pro that is installed automatically. All you have to do is to select it, and then you can do your recordings with the Kohaimi Video Capture Card. Now, before going to the section that you're all waiting for, that is comparing the Kohaimi to the Cam Link on one screen side by side, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the form factor of this Video Capture Card. So let me switch to my Logitech camera to show it to you once again. Design-wise, the video capture card has a sleek design. I find it, frankly, for me, a little bit big, but this is a subjective area. I mean, some viewers may find it very nice and some viewers maybe will not like it. What I don't like about it very much is these red lights here. So at night, they are very strong and they bother me. But once again, this is something subjective. You may like these red lights and you may not like them. So now let's switch to the side-by-side -side comparison with the cam link. For the side-by-side -side comparison to be accurate, I filmed it in the same place using the same configurations in OBS and it is at 4K resolution. So now you have two videos side-by-side. -side. Can you guess what video card is capturing what window? I didn't title them on purpose so that for you to form your own opinion and you don't get influenced by the title. So now is it the left or is it the right for the Kohaimi? Of course, I'm going to tell you afterwards. But as you notice, both video capture cards have excellent quality and they have excellent colors and they don't stutter and they don't lag in any way. So now let me tell you what window is captured by the Kohaimi and what window is captured by the Cam Link. One, two, three. This one is the Kohaimi and this one is the Camlink. 
Did you guess it right? By the way, if you want to check out this video capture card, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you, and this will help my channel greatly. Now, let me tell you what I like and what I don't like about this video capture card. What I like about it is that it is affordable for what it offers. So it has 4K capabilities in input, in output pass-through, and in recording, and it can record in three video formats, and it also has 1080p Full HD at 120Hz recording capabilities, which is really very good. Now, what I don't like about it is its form factor. It's a little bit big for my opinion, and the red lights that it has are really very strong. So maybe in future releases, these red lights will be a little bit less strong than they are now. That was my video review of the Kohai Mi HCA25P video capture card. I hope that you liked my review and you found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it, and this will help my channel greatly. And this way, you'll not miss any future videos I make. I'm Eloy. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.